Hi. This party gate is getting beyond endurance, dominating the headline for months. It's probably a day or so before disclosure of the Sue Gray report, but yesterday Christopher Dick delivered a bombshell. She announced the Met are conducting their own criminal investigation about events in number 10. We've been subjected to an unceasing bombardment about party gate. Speculation that Johnson is finished. Starmer, Labour, Liberal leftists are eagerly awaiting his imminent demise. But if there is a vote of confidence, he'll probably coast it. For a variety of reasons, it's simply not time for his departure. I'm positive that Labour, the Liberal left elite, will be depri de deprived of what was an illusionary victory come the next general election, if the Tories retain Johnson or not. Meanwhile, Partygate will drag on as we all remain trapped in the media vortex. Ruling class politics, their agendas, squabbles are a major part of this. There's no rebellion from below, urban disturbances, uprisings of any description, autonomous working class politics, viable resistance, or the development of revolutionary alternatives to our feudal capitalist system. But, as us and our co malcontents are well aware, such things could erupt anytime, anywhere, usually from an unexpected source or cause. In the meantime, the rich become super rich as tens of millions sink further into procurity. So as government, state, prepare for future upheaval, liberal lefties fantasise about the elusive Labour victory. I think anarcho malcontents and others of a different dissatisfied perspective, hostile to all ruling and middle class politics, which is most of it, whatever the label, are realistic enough to steer clear of this corrupt, oppressive, power-hungry, authoritarian system. We await developments with a combination of anticipation and, so far, unfortunately, frustration. But the 2020s will prove to be the decade of revolution. Bye.